This is Jared Horak, and it's Saturday, August 10th. And in this video, I'm going to catch up with the latest Pacific Classic news. Now, if you're interested in reading my Pacific Classic and Traverse Stakes articles, you'll find those at todaysracingdigest.com. Just posted a Traverse article earlier this week, and you can watch my Pacific Classic videos and Traverse videos on my YouTube channel. I'm also going to have handicapping videos after the post positions come out for those two big races this summer. I'm going to give out my top choice in those videos. Then I also have a promo code that I would like to share with my YouTube audience, and that is for todaysracingdigest.com for the three-track complete digest pack at Today's Racing Digest. And you can use this promo code from now through the end of the Del Mar meet on September 8th. So go over to todaysracingdigest.com and click handicapping products at the top of their homepage, and then click complete digest, and then the three-track complete digest. And then if you use promo code, TRD, 75 off, uh, you can get the three-track complete digest pack for $7.50. So that's a savings of $22.50 off the regular $30 price. Uh, it's a great deal, especially if you're going to be using uh, Saratoga Del Mar uh, for these big Saturday cards coming up this summer. And this coupon code is limited to one use per customer. So go over to todaysracingdigest.com, use that promo code TRD, 75 off uh, to get that product. And keep checking out my Saratoga Quick Pick videos on my YouTube channel. I've had 10 top choice winners uh, from 18 races that I've done so far this summer at Saratoga. And you'll find those videos each day uh, that I do stakes races at Saratoga. Uh, I posted uh, the Saratoga Derby and the Four Star Day for Sunday, August 11th. So you can check out those videos if you're interested. And also, if you want another free pick, go over to therunawayhorse.com, my personal website, my daily Better Bets blog. You can get a free pick from around the country each day at therunawayhorse.com on my Better Bets blog. And finally, Delmar Full Cards. Uh, this summer, uh, over at therunawayhorse.com on my sales page, you can purchase individual full cards, weekly and weekend packages, and the entire meet. Go over to therunawayhorse.com on my sales page for more details. That Delmar meet runs from now through September 8th. And you can also get my Delmar Full Cards at todaysracingdigest.com. And now we're going to get into the Pacific Classic hopefuls. And these hopefuls, as, as of uh, 8 10 2024, uh, the nominations for the Pacific Classic close on August 22nd. The race is going to be drawn on August 27th. And then the Pacific Classic at Delmar will be run on Saturday, August 31st. So the Pacific Classic for the Handicap Division could be a big race for the Breeders' Cup Classic since the Breeders' Cup is at Delmar this, uh, later this fall. Of the Pacific Classic is a race I've always liked. It debuted it back in 1991. Best Pal as a three-year-old was the first winner, one of six three-year-olds to win that race. And then last year, a three-year-old won it, Arabian Night. A beholder was the lone filly uh, to win the Pacific Classic. That was for Richard Mandela. Uh, two races really stick out. Uh, the most memorable uh, earlier running of the Pacific Classic of uh, 1996, when Dare and Go. Uh, ended Cigar's 16 race winning streak uh, when he upset the field that day. And then uh, how could you forget Flight Lines uh, winning by almost 20 lengths in 2022 in the Pacific Classic. So right now for this year, we have eight horses listed as possible. It's still early. Uh, we're still three weeks away from the Pacific Classic. Wouldn't be surprised if a shipper from the East Coast, or one, maybe two shippers, uh, could enter the mix. We'll have to see in the coming weeks if, uh, if the field changes at all. Uh, like I said, the, the nominations close on August 22nd, so there's still time uh, to nominate to the Pacific Classic. Plenty of time to get your horse ready to ship out there uh, if uh, an East Coast horse uh, could end up running there. I saw Todd Pletcher had mentioned uh, possibly uh, the Whitney, his horse, uh, Bright Future, didn't run well there. But he does uh, handle a mile and a quarter. He's got some tactical speed when he has his mind on running. Didn't run a good race in the Whitney. Uh, but maybe a horse like that could be possible to ship out there and run in the Pacific Classic and then maybe run in the Breeders' Cup after that. We'll have to see. But right now, eight horses listed as possible. And we'll go through those horses now. And we'll do it in alphabetical order. Arabian Nights, the first one uh, for trainer Bob Baffert. And Bob Baffert won the Pacific Classic uh, last summer with Arabian Night. And this one uh, returned from a layoff. Uh, he was off for more than nine months. And that was in the Grade 2 San Diego on July 27th. He was the big favorite there. He set the pace. He weakened it. He finished fourth in a five-horse field. He did miss third place by a half length. Definitely looked like he needed that race. Reminded me a little bit of his Haskell last year when he came off of a layoff in the Haskell. 
needed that race, and then he was able to move forward and win the Pacific Classic. So we'll see if he can move forward. He's going to really have to move forward. He was definitely short last time. He should have got fitness out of that race. He's going to need to move up several lengths in his second start after a long layoff. But he expects to compete for the win in that Pacific Classic. And Bob Baffert has settled the winner of the Pacific Classic seven times. Dr. Venkman, uh, he was your San Diego winner. He stretched out in distance for the first time, chased Arabian Night, got a clear lead in the stretch, and then he won that San Diego by a length. That was at a mile and a 16th. Really not sure about him in a mile and a quarter. We'll have to see how he can handle the extra distance. But he has worked since the San Diego. He worked four furlongs, 47.60, ninth best of 92 at Del Mar on August 10th. Express train, a veteran runner. Now he rallied to finish third in a five-horse field in that, in that San Diego. He rallied from last. He was able to get past Arabian Night and pick up third, finishing a half length in front of that runner. He's a seven-year-old now. He was sixth in the 2021 Pacific Classic. He was fourth in 2022. Uh, he didn't race at all in 2023. But his last win uh, was the 2022 Santa Anita Handicap. He's 0 for 5 since that race. As I said, he missed all of 2023. And then in two starts this year, he was third in both of those starts. And he had a very easy four furlong workout, 51.20, 63rd best of 64 at Del Mar on August 9th. Paul Serrano, oh, this one is a South American transplant, and he had his first start in this country on August 3rd at Del Mar. And from the inside post, he dueled on the lead, he edged clear, and he won nicely by two and a quarter lengths. So that was a one-mile race, optional claiming event. John Sadler is his trainer, and he has won the Pacific Classic four of the last six years. Uh, he saddled up to victory in this race, Accelerate, Higher Power, Tripoli, and Flightline. A uh, Katona, uh, this one won the Pleasanton Mile in 2023, and then he returned from a one-year layoff, and he finished second at 20 to 1 odds in that San Diego handicap. That's a, a race that four horses, the top four finishers, all could end up running in this Pacific Classic. And he worked four furlongs in 47.40 seconds, sixth best of 92 at Del Mar on August 10th. Midnight Mammoth. Uh, this is one that's sharp right now for trainer Craig DeLassi. He set the pace and he won very easy, uh, a very easy big victory in the grade three Cougar the second by 10 and a quarter lengths. And he defeated Reincarnate there for trainer Bob Baffert. That was a mile and a half race on dirt at Del Mar on July 25th. So he worked out four furlongs in 48 flat, 19th best of 92 at Del Mar on August 10th. So Midnight Mammoth is sharp right now. He would be cutting back in distance if he does run in the Pacific Classic. Now, Bob Baffert has a second possibility in addition to Arabian Night, and that is three-year-old parenting. And, three, and, and parenting would be uh, taking on older rivals uh, in this race. And he did face older rivals in his last start, uh, but that was an easier spot. But uh, Arabian Night, uh, he won the Pacific Classic as a three-year-old for Baffert last year. So now Baffert has another one of those lightly raced, improving three-year-olds. Uh, this one's three for three. Uh, he dominated the Affirm Stakes a couple starts back. And then he turned away uh, older company last time. Relatively fast, optional came, claiming race. So that was at Del Mar, one mile on July 28th. So this one is a son of Justify. Lemon Drop Kid is, is the damn sire. So I think the potential is there to handle a mile and a quarter. He's fast for sure, and most likely if he's in this race, he's going to be up on the pace. But then Arabian Knight also likes to run up on the pace. We'll have to see what Bob Baffert decides to do here uh, with his three-year-old, his talented three-year-old undefeated, and then his uh, four-year-old uh, Arabian Knight who won this race last year. Sub Sanador finally is the last one here. That's uh, the possible eight runners at this early stage, and he was second in the big cap and fourth in the Hollywood Gold Cup in his last two starts. Uh, he hasn't run since May 27th. He's worked eight times uh, since that Hollywood Gold Cup. His last three works were at Del Mar. He's one that likes to be up on the pace, and his trainer, Richard Mandela, has saddled the Pacific Classic winner four times. Dare and Go, we mentioned that one that defeated Cigar. Gentleman, Pleasantly Perfect, and Beholder. So those are uh, Richard Mandela's four Pacific Classic winners. Sub Sanador is his possibility in 2024. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos if you like them. And uh, keep checking out my YouTube channel for my video shorts, my top choice quick pick videos from Saratoga all summer, uh, other stakes races from around the country, uh, these prep 
uh, these videos about uh, the news for the Travers and the Pacific Classic. I'm going to cover all of the big races, handicapping them as well and giving out my top choice. So a lot going on on my YouTube channel. And then also over at my personal website, therunawayhorse.com for my Del Mar full cards and bonus free selections. And then today's racingdigest.com if you want to check out that promo code. Great deal throughout the summer, especially for those big Saturdays coming up. And that'll do it for this video. Until I see you next time, good luck at the races.